Thank you. Portlanders celebrated our military members today with the Veterans Day Parade. And this year, World War II heroes led the floats and the marching bands. Let's bring in Brittany Falkers now to introduce us to the parade's Grand Marshals. Hey, Brittany. Hey, guys. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. Two of those Grand Marshals were there on D-Day, which is known as the largest seaborne invasion in history and thought of as a major turning point in the war. Another says he just missed it, but arrived soon after and was wounded three times during his service. We got to hear from them today, more than 75 years after D-Day. D-Day, June 6, 1944. Allied forces attacked the Germans on the coast of Normandy, France, gaining a victory that became a turning point in World War II. It happened 75 years ago, but it's a memory 94-year-old Abe Lorenzo of Vancouver will never forget. Here I am, 75 years later from June 6. And still going on. He was just 17 when he joined the Navy and only 19 when troops stormed the beaches of Normandy. Just a boy, yeah. It looks like a, it's a dream to me now. He was a Navy radio man first classed on a land craft that day. We were probably one of the first ships to land on Omaha Beach. We were there probably at 11 o'clock in the morning and off in about 11.10. While he was delivering troops, Ben Asquith of McMinnville remembers delivering supplies as a 19-year-old Navy chief mechanic. It was exciting, but it just was what we had been trained for, and it, it didn't register at the time. All, all we was figuring is just getting the, getting the supplies into the beach. That was our training and that was our job. Asquith recalls the destruction and devastation on Omaha Beach that day. A lot of wounded soldiers and death and bombs, landmines. It was a war zone. Oregon National Guardsman Jerry Noodleman says he just missed D-Day, but was there soon after. He spent the rest of the war in Europe where he was injured three times and survived. God, my mother got me through it. On this Veterans Day, all three were honored for their sacrifice and service as Grand Marshals in Portland's parade. This is wonderful. I never expected this. Uh, I'm just a, a kid who, who went in the Army when I was 18. And got, unfortunately, I got wounded three times. It was a prisoner of war and got through the war and I got home and, and made it. It's an unexpected honor and uh, I just don't know how to express it. It's, uh, it's a great honor and I'm glad that I'm here to represent so many others that were active and still are active. Well, I'm very honored by being here. It's quite a great thing. Now, you heard all three of today's Grand Marshals express their gratitude for the honor, but really, we are the ones who are thankful. Thank you so much to all three of them for their service. Laurel? Yes, we are thankful. Grand, Grand Marshals indeed. Thank you, Brittany.